example. One of the things that's interesting about planning hunts and planning stand locations and planning where you're going to put your tree stands is that every year I hear that um, well, we've got to have all these northwest winds because that's a predominant wind, the prevailing wind uh, for the entire hunting season. And folks, if that was true, then it's getting colder every single day of the entire hunting season. In fact, what I found in, in a really good chart, I, I wrote this article, this was several years ago, it's the myth of prevailing winds. And what I found is, and this is from my website, I have close to 700 whitetail articles on my site, so enough to... Um, bore you to death if you really want to read a lot about whitetails and whitetail strategy. But you can pull these charts up on Weather Underground and they're really cool charts because what's nice about them is you can actually look back in historical weather data and say, you know, this is a, um, this is what the wind was in 2015. This is what the winds were in 2017. You can go back 20 years. And what you'll find is that the northwest winds, if you're in the north half of the country, are most likely not the prevailing winds on your land that you have to plan for your hunt. And if you plan for only northwest winds, you're going to be short most of the days. In fact, what was pretty cool, I looked back at this, and this was, uh, I believe, in 2014, 2015, right around there. And this is representative of a, of a lot of different um, uh, hunting seasons, most hunting seasons. Uh, so I looked at the winds for October and November, and there's some really cool facts about those. One, there were actually more northerly winds in October than there were in November. That doesn't happen every year, but if you have a warm November, you're gonna have a lot more southerly winds. Again, if it's getting warm, it's southerly winds. If it's getting cold, it's northerly winds. Think of the northerly winds as the quick winds. They bring about a lot of change quickly. They're heavy. The northwest winds are just jamming on in. They're 40 mile an hour. That's when the Edmund Fitzgerald went down up in Lake Superior was early November with heavy northwest winds. I've been up on those conditions. It's just hellacious, crazy winds coming in, big surf. And that's when you people remember. You know, remember those northwest winds because they're cold, they're heavy, and it's windy. Or those southeast winds, when you have a front coming in, a lot of people say we don't get a lot of easterly winds. But what I found is that one-third of all days in October and November were actually easterly winds of some component because storms are coming in. So every time you have a storm come in, a rainstorm, even if it's light, those easterly winds are coming in. So one third of those winds were easterly. The southerly winds accounted for almost 50% of all winds in October, November. Those are where you have the long, boring days. The southerly winds represent the most days of winds. It might be they're lasting for five days, they're lasting for four days, six days, but those are your stable winds. And I find that in the whole north, north part of the country. Um, really look at these weather factors. Some of the lightest winds are from the southeast. You're not going to remember those winds a lot. The majority of the prevailing strong to extreme winds, 20 to 50 mile an hour, came from the northwest, was several from the southwest as well. Again, if it's a big warm front, you're going to get heavy winds. If it's a big cold front, you're going to get northwest winds. So what does that all mean, the hunting winds? It means that you need to plan your hunts around every single wind direction. A lot of seasons you're going to find that about 35 to 40, even 50% are southerly. You're going to find a portion of northwest, a portion of easterly. And, but what you'll find is you need stands and tree stands, whether it's on public or private land, for all winds during the entire hunting season. If you do so, you're going to be prepared and you're going to make sure that you can keep that wind out of the nose of the whitetails and you're going to keep your wind blowing where you can have a great chance of success and that's not just on your tree stands but it's how you access your land in and out of your tree stands. Pay attention to all those winds and you're going to have a lot of success this hunting season.